One thing Jamaica teach you is how to be resilient. We are in the cool, cool parish of Manchester. Very beautiful, lush, clean place. And decided to go a few places. You probably saw the headline that there is an increase in crime in Manchester. Many are said come like Kingston or Mobe. Recently, there was a shooting in the Mandeville market, yet people are up and about doing their thing, and the market was pretty packed after the incident. Now, we're going to show you a few places. Um, I got caught up in the beauty of the parish walking for hours, so I wasn't able to do a lot of footage, but there are a few places that you'll see some areas secluded, and it was such a nice walk. You know, people, get up and walk. Don't drive everywhere. Do it by foot because trust me, it was great exercise in the hilly parish of Manchester. If you're visiting Manchester, do stop by the original Juicy Beef. I mean, it's so good. The variety that they have there. I got fried dumplings for breakfast and um, peanut porridge and cocoa bread and patty. And this is what it costs. It was nice to get the food in the early morning. And, and you then can eat at the area but i found somewhere random outside to eat now let's get into some facts about manchester manchester was established in 1814 merging parts of saint elizabeth clarendon and Vere. now it's name of a william montagu fifth duke of manchester who served as jamaica's governor for 19 years coffee citrus and irish potato farming became key after slavery ended Mandeville Hotel was built in 1875 and the first free library, 1938, were notable developments. Now, I passed the library so you'll see the library on the way. Now, the capital, Mandeville, was named after the governor of the island at the time, remember Duke of Manchester, William Montagu, after his son and heir. Manchester seems to be dominantly a Seventh-day Adventist parish. A lot of businesses are closed on Saturday, which many find weird, especially if you migrate from other parishes where you're used to having businesses running on Saturdays. Now also, places are not normally open early. I guess that's across the Jamaica though. Nine o'clock when we were walking through, when I was walking through, a lot of places were closed. A few food places were open and some Chinese stores were just getting ready to open. Now passing the Mandeville Park right here, which has an interesting history, named after Sister Charlton. And we're going to link that video below because that man did a lot for this parish. Now they also have the wholesome bakery. And I do recommend stopping by there and also by Top Loaf which has some great food. They also have another bakery called he Heavenly Delight. So yeah, Manchester have them bakeries going on. The city or the town is small, but I love the convenience and its location of it. And how you're able to just walk around. I was walking early morning and it's a bit secluded, but it was such a nice walk passing the library, going up to Hargreaves, going up to the Manchester Shopping Centre. So walk all the way around the town for exercise, guys. It was so worth it. Manchester have this thing when I'm call it uptown, downtown. Me confuse it. I think when you go up the hill, that's uptown. That's how it was explained. And down the hill is downtown. What we, well, people from Kingston will call uptown Manchester call. You know, so it would confuse some people. But yeah, it's up the hill is uptown and down the hill is downtown. I love how in Manchester, how you can move from the busy uptown area where you have all the shops to the not so busy downtown area where you have the Manchester Shopping Centre and Hargreaves and so forth. Talking about Hargreaves, we're entering that centre there where you can have the different medical places and the Mandeville, well, Har Hargreaves Hospital, which is private. And to do so, it's about a 15 minute walk from the busy area of Mandeville to not so busy where you have the ice cream shop, you can get Devon House ice cream, you can go to the Manchester Shopping Centre, um, you can go to the library. The library was closed at the time, I wanted to show you the library, but it wasn't open until 9am. 
Now back to some quick facts about Manchester. It's bordered by St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, Chelani, and it covers 830 km. Now the key mountain ranges are Carpenters, Midi, and the Andan Figueroa Mountains. Manchester is known for caves, including the Gur Cave, Jamaica's longest cave, and Smoky Hole Cave, the island's deepest cave. And can we talk about the flora? So beautiful. Manchester is one of the first parishes I see some flora I've never seen in any other parish or notice until I pass through Manchester. Bogan Villas in full bloom, the um, Easter lilies and so forth. Now, you know that it's a large bauxite place. It, Manchester, a lot of people did migrate to Manchester for the jobs in the bauxite industry. So it has large bauxite deposit and limestone features dominate the landscape. And notable rivers are Alligator Hole, Gut River, and Hector's River. You know, Manchester, when you talk about Manchester, they don't really talk about rivers, but they do have different rivers. And it's actually, Noise River was one of the places I visited and it was pretty good. Now we spoke about the backside mining it's significant with companies like Alcan and Alpart operating in the area. The Christiana um, region is important for potato and banana farming. Crops grown include bananas, coffee, pimento, citrus, um, ginger, and Irish potatoes. The population was said to be 190,812 in the parish. I'm not seeing what date particularly, but Mandeville alone has over 30,000 residents, is if not more. Um, I actually got lost in the walk after this, so I didn't do any more footage. We're coming to a close. Close. I walked for about five hours, but was only able to do a few minutes um, to put the clips together. So it's a short video on Manchester. It's definitely a parish to visit, to enjoy, to relax, to soak up its spirituality and nature. And even though it's not touristy as some of the other parishes, it's definitely worth the visit. Now that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in to Destination Jamaica. We'll do a part two on Manchester for sure. Have a blessed one.